Hey, welcome to another episode of Tule Fog Press podcast. I think this is number four. I haven't recorded one and two yet. I recorded three, but I wanted to backtrack and get some uh, of the uh, episodes or the newsletters that I had written uh, and put them on video form. So I don't know if this is a vlog or a podcast, but anyway. Today we have another package opening, not a box opening, it's a package. Came from Amazon and it's in relationship to the, um, I'm cutting it while I'm talking, the uh, Pale Reflection release by Gustavo Bondini. Bondoni, sorry. Oh, he's from Argentina. And um, we uh, did a paperback and an ebook. And I just got the proofs for it. Oh, it looks good, except for the, the line that says, not for resale. Okay, these are your proofs from uh, no longer Create Space. It's uh, Amazon doing it. So taking that, it's nice. So yeah, 120 some pages, but at five by eight, you can look at that uh, nice cover uh, done by um, MY Cover Design. And this is uh, Pale Reflection. A collection of dark fantasy. There's six dark fantasy stories in here, bordering on horror and magic realism by Gustavo Bondoni from uh, Argentina. Lived in the United States for a number of years, so uh, writes in English. And uh, we're going to have him on a special uh, event. It's on Facebook. It's called Pale Reflection. Where is it? There it is. And so look for Tule Fog Press on Facebook. And we have a March 1st Q&A with uh, Gustavo. And um, uh, click yes, I'm going. And then during the day, that day in the afternoon, Central Standard Time, uh, we'll have a number of uh, topics lined up. And you can ask questions in the discussion section. And Gustavo and I will answer them. But the uh, stories here have all been uh, printed in magazines before. And so this is a new collection of these stories, never before collected in one area. Uh, it concludes the story, Pale Reflection, which is the title of the book. Uh, Scent of the Night, uh, Gualicho Days, uh, Protein, Alpine Silence, and uh, I don't know how to pronounce that last one. Gustavo's going to have to help me. Ikenaka, I think. And here's the, uh, oh, I can't read the blurb because it says not for resale across it, but it's got a good blurb. Go on to, uh, to Lee Fog Press and you'll get that. So that's pretty exciting. Glad to see those. We're going to proof these and then get them on publication by March 1st, I hope, uh, along with the ebook. It's on sale now as pre order. Uh, so that's one section. And uh, just uh, want to let you know what I'm reading. Uh, just finished After the Sky by my friend Milo James Fowler and uh, put up a review on Amazon. You can look that, look that up. He's coming out with book two in about a week or so. And so uh, he sent me a uh, advanced reader copy and book two is called Tomorrow's Children. There's the cover. And it's really, to me, it's a mix between, well, if Wool, the world of Wool, met uh, World War Z. You know, there's a little bit of zombie uh, action coming up from these bunkers after a post nuclear fallout. And, uh, but the, the world has changed. So it's some, uh, some fantasy in there as well and some crazy uh, happenings that, uh, uh, are going on. It's called Spirits of the Earth is the trilogy. And so there's these mutants. It's not just it's not just zombies. I mean, it's not and that's they're not in even zombies, but they're uh, everyone has these different superpowers based on the uh, fallout and the radiation and uh, the war that went on. So it's really good. I'm uh, halfway through tomorrow's children. We'll write a review for that. So uh, yeah, keep in touch with Tule Fog Press uh, newsletter. And you'll get the latest if you want to be a beta reader. Still time to let me know about. Uh, I'll give you a free ebook of Gustavo's book, and uh, and then I think you can talk to Athon Books and get a free copy of Tomorrow's Children if you want to beta read for that. Beta read for that. Well, I've got my Star Trek mug, got Star Trek T-shirt. I'm drinking. Not, not I'm not drinking Star Trek tea, but it is Earl Grey, Earl Grey lavender, for a wonderful afternoon. Hope you guys have a great, wonderful afternoon as well. Bye.